Welcome ladies and gentlemen on a short introduction on how to integrate your test for CDC++ tools into your IDE. For the specific example, we are using the CodeBlocks IDE. We will show you how you could integrate the test for tools into this IDE. Um, you will see how to instrument your code and after that how to get reports out of this instrumentation. So let's get started first with how to instrument. So how could someone instrument his code just by using the inbuilt make file similar building processes used by code blocks? It is quite easy. You go into your settings for the compiler. You go to custom variables and you choose a variable name of your liking. In this case, we will call this variable CTC. The value could be, for example, which instrumentation you want. You use the CTC command, you tell it to use multi condition coverage. After that, just say OK, leave it uncoded. This is very, very important because otherwise CTC space minus I space M would be treated as one command and not a command with parameters. After that, we go into the other settings and choose the advanced options. We know what we do, so we can just proceed. We will add the variable here and for everything where a variable could be used uh, for what a compiler is used to compile code or a linker to link the code. So we should be done in a minute. So, we will now rebuild our project and we could see that our command has been added just into the command line as if we have it typed ourselves in there. We see here our mon.sim file. And after we run it, we will get some coverage data, which will be stored in our mon.dat file. This mechanism has to be well known amongst our more advanced users of Testful CTC++, so it is no surprise. With this short example, you have seen how to integrate the instrumentation into your build process of the CodeBlocks IDE. In the next chapter, you will see how you will post process and how you will generate reports out of the mon.sum and mon.dat file. In this last chapter, I will show you on how to integrate the report generation smoothly into the tools of CodeBlocks IDE 13.12. To add a tool, you configure your tools, you add it, you name it. First, we always need to generate a texture profile listing. So, generate textual report. We will use the CTC post executable to do this with the parameters minus p for profile profile.txt you can choose a file name to your liking we will use in this case profile.txt as working directory we will use our project directory because here are mon.dat and mon.sum files are stored
We now have our general textures report tool. Now we use another. We generate now the generate HTML report tool. For this, we will use the ctc to HTML dot but. As parameters, we will use an input file. In this case, it's our profile dot txt. Our working directory, as it always was, will be project directory. We now run the generate HTML report tool. Here you can see we have our main file with the instrumentation. We've executed our program two times. So what if you want to make things a little bit more simple? For this specific case, you would need to write a short but file. For example, we could do this right in code blocks. We could store it, for example, in our CTC folder. So, first things first, CGC post minus P profile.txt CGC to HTML point but minus I profile.txt. We save it. We configure our HTML report tool. We now use the reports.but. And we will now execute it. And you see, with just one click, you have generated an HTML report right for C2C++. So I wish you much success with this simple integration and I hope you enjoy this simple example. Have a nice day and thanks for your time.